friends, it's Aubrey. In today's video, we are gonna be taking a look in my freezer and seeing what kind of meals we can come up with for my family for this week and maybe even some snacks and desserts as well. We're also gonna take a look at the pantry and the fridge too to make sure we're not wasting anything. So if that interests you, keep watching. I'm mainly focusing on my freezer because it is jam packed and we need to start eating some of the stuff in here. So we're just gonna take a look around, see if we can get some ideas on what we can make this week just from the things that are in my freezer, fridge and pantry. So for tonight, I think we're gonna do one of these Kevin's foods, just make this with some noodles and we have some broccoli in the fridge that needs to get used up, so that will take care of this box. I normally don't buy fully prepared meals like this one, but it was on clearance, and sometimes it's nice to have some of these fully prepared meals ready to go, so that way you do not end up going and getting takeout or going out to eat or you know, going to the store and buying some things that you don't actually need and then end up wasting food that you already have on hand. So I am just heating this up, pouring the sauce over it and making some noodles to go along with it. We served the chicken over the noodles with a side salad and some frozen corn out of the freezer. It was really tasty. I don't recommend buying it unless it's on sale though, because I feel like the price where it's normally at $11 is a little too much for it, but it was really, really good. Dolly. Dolly. Did you like the chicken? Did you like the chicken? Yeah? Yeah. We had some clearance hummus and pita bread that was in the freezer that needed to get eaten up. So we used this for a snack a few days this week. So for tonight's dinner, I'm trying to clean out the fridge and pantry. We had like one lone potato. So we are doing that with some carrots and broccoli. And we're just going to roast them in the oven to go along with our orzo uh, meat sauce dinner. It's going to be great. I had an onion that also needed to get used up. It was just a half of one that was in my fridge. And then the inspiration for this was the orzo. I had just enough to make this recipe and it was just a little bag in the pantry that was just hanging out. So I wanted to get that out of there. And we also had some already cooked ground beef that was in my freezer. So we're just using that, heating it up, adding all the ingredients for this pasta together and I'll make sure to have the recipe linked down below for you. I believe I made this in a video not too long ago so I can also link that video here for you but it's just pretty simple ingredients. It's a great recipe to use things up and it's also really easy to pair with lots of different sides. While we let this simmer and get all the flavors together, I am going to look in my freezer to see what bread options we have that we could do as a side. I got these breadsticks at my Fran's Bakery outlet. I'll link a video about that outlet here for you. And we're just going to heat those up while the veggies are finishing roasting. And then we're going to add the cream cheese into the orzo pasta to thicken it up a little bit. And once that is thick, we will go ahead and dish it up. This is one of my favorite creamy pasta recipes. I highly recommend making it if you haven't already. It is absolutely delicious. I wanted to use up some more of this frozen pre-cooked ground beef that I had in my freezer and we had all the ingredients on hand for Korean beef bowls and one more head of broccoli that needed to get used up. So we're gonna steam that broccoli, heat up the meat in the microwave just so that it's not completely frozen anymore. And then we will start making the sauce. I do have a whole entire video dedicated to just ground beef recipes and this one was included in that. It is one of our family favorites now. We also had some pre-cooked rice in the fridge that needed to get used up. So we're gonna heat that up and serve this along with the broccoli. And it was absolutely delicious. I'll have the recipe linked for you down below. For dinner tonight, we are gonna use the rest of those breadsticks and we have a few bags of ravioli. So we're gonna grab one of those. 
some frozen corn, some ground beef that's also in the freezer. And we're gonna grab a jar of pasta sauce and we are gonna make some ravioli with breadsticks and corn on the side. Just heated up the breadsticks in the oven, had the ravioli cooking on the stove, got the corn cooking in the microwave, and this came together so fast. I love having ravioli on hand because it makes for a very quick dinner on any busy weeknight or just a night where you don't wanna cook. So if you don't keep ravioli in your fridge or freezer, I recommend doing so. This is one of my daughter's favorite dinners, which you'll see here in just a minute. Mm. What'd you think about dinner? Enjoying your pasta? We are gonna cook this whole chicken that I had defrosting in the fridge the last like two days. And it's part of the freezer clean out. It was taking up quite a bit of space. So let's cook this up in the Instant Pot. And if you would like instructions on how to do so, I made a whole video about how to cook a whole chicken in the Instant Pot and some ways that you can use the chicken meat, the chicken bones to make sure you're not wasting anything. So if you're interested in that one, I will go ahead and have a card for it right here for you. And I'll have it linked in the description box below. I cooked this whole chicken in the Instant Pot. I did season it differently though than I did in my whole chicken video just because it didn't have any lemon on hand. So just used a different bundle of spices. And then we're gonna have a nice farro and veggie salad on the side. I roasted my veggies in the air fryer at 360 degrees for about eight minutes and then I shook them around and put them back in there for another couple of minutes until they were crispy and then served it alongside the chicken. This was super good. We had lots of leftovers, which was nice for the next day for an easy lunch. I used the bones and the chicken innards and some veggie scraps to make some delicious chicken broth. I found some sugar cookie mix that I got on clearance a few months ago decided to make these up for a nice sweet treat. I added in some sprinkles that I had in my pantry that have been in there for a while to try and use those up as well. And my brother wanted huge Mondo cookies, so we made huge Mondo cookies. They were about the size of crumble cookies and they were really good. Maybe a little underbaked, but gooey cookies are the best. I have some Buffalo Wild Wing barbecue sauce that I got on clearance. And I figured along with the buns that I have in the freezer and the leftover chicken that I had from the chicken dinner we made last night, we would make some barbecue chicken sandwiches. This meal came together in less than 10 minutes and it was really good. If you haven't tried this particular barbecue sauce, if you see it on sale or on clearance, definitely pick it up. It is really good. It's sweet and then has just a little teeny bit of heat in the back. And then I also used up the rest of this bag of super sweet white corn from Winco. If you haven't tried this one, try it out. It is seriously the best corn. Madsen really wanted some, but corn's not good for dogs, so he didn't get any. Just let these buns sit out on the counter for a little bit so that they wouldn't be frozen anymore. And once they were ready to go and the chicken was done, we just put it together and had our chicken sandwiches and corn. Super easy dinner, but also really tasty. That is all I have for you guys today. If you did enjoy, please hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you here. And that way you won't miss any of my future videos. And if you have certain things that you keep on hand all the time that you can make quick and easy pantry meals out of, leave them down below for me. I'd love to hear what you keep stocked in your kitchen. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.